What's going on guys? Today I'm starting something I've never really done on my channel. It's an in, re in real life, uh, you know, kind of reaction video, sort of. Um, I, I want to kind of show some of my basketball knowledge, as well as other random things such as volleyball, um, football, uh, ran mostly sports. And it's going to be my opinion on how to do certain things, what I think of certain plays, what I think of certain players, stuff like that. And I figured the best way to start this would be small with my friend. Um, his name's Tim Putnam. He also has a YouTube channel. It's in the description if you want to check him out. He posts uh, vlogs, basketball videos, sometimes gaming. Uh, I've been on his channel a few times. And this video is going to be how I think you should play Tim if you're going to try to beat him one-on-one. -on -one. Most important thing you have to remember is when you're playing Tim, he's very sound fundamentally because he played in high school all four years and he also played in college. And so he's had a lot of coaching and a lot of practice so he knows all the basics, very fundamentals, good footwork, uh, defense, he's got good um, techniques, he doesn't um, bite on you know head fakes and easy fakes and stuff like that. So the best way I think to beat him defensively when you're on defense is to just try to play sound defense. By that I mean you can't just let him shoot. If you just let him shoot, he's going to start getting hot, getting a rhythm. And if he gets in a rhythm, then you're pretty much cooked. He's a very good shooter, very consistent shooter. He can finish with both hands just from practice. Um, a lot of players that played in high school and college, I find when I play them or play with them, they always are good with both hands. They aren't they aren't typically one way and just go just right or just left, you know, whatever their strong hand is. Um, they're usually good with both. So when you play defense, you can't just sag and let him shoot. That's not going to work. And you can't get too tight on him because he has a very good handle. He can go both left and right. He's got a great crossover and he's got a good step back. Um, posts up a little bit. Doesn't usually post up. If he does, he's usually going to take a fade away, something like that. As you can see here, he um, he can shoot both hands. He's got flo he's got a good float game, good handle. Um, knows how to use the glass, obviously. Just that's just practice. Can finish with both hands, reverse layups. Um, I would say his best skills definitely his shooting. He's a very consistent shooter, and he always gets a good um, foundation and base footwork. I was talking about when he's going to shoot, when he's coming off the dribble, or when he's just set and goes up and shoots. He's always square. Um, I haven't really seen him like take a bad fadeaway or something like that. He's usually pretty set. Uh, again, he's a good shooter. So if you just sag, it's not going to work. I think the best way to defend him is um, he always says, like he always jokes around that he's out of shape right now. So I would say the best way is if you just let him shoot, shooting's tiring, but I don't think it's tiring enough. So I would just try to play solid D, move left and right as quick as you can. He's got a good uh, handle and try to force him, try to force him to drive. But when he does drive, if you can get a good contest on it, um, that's pretty much all you can do on defense. Um, offensively, I think the best way to beat him is if you aren't a good ball handler, like you just usually drive north south, like just straight up and down. You just try to drive, gather immediately, go up and finish. That's not going to work on most players that are solid on defense because they'll have, like, Tim has great hands. He'll probably strip you or get a good contest and block you. Um, but if you are good at going east west, this is in the video. If you're good at going east to west, this is a driveway league, a league that Tim started actually. It's really fun. We play an eight and a half foot hoop and uh, we play four quarters and everything. It's really fun. But anyway, just for uh, defense purposes for Tim, I wanted to show this clip. This is Ant in the league. He has a really good hesitation. He's got great ball handling. He really is good at going east west quickly. He's got a good um, jab steps and stuff like that. And if you can get Tim tired when you're on defense, and then when you're on offense, if you can move left, right, like if you're in good shape, I think that's your best bet. And you can go left, right um, effectively. That's probably the best way to to score on him. Ant uh, here has a great jab step. He steps back, hesitation, and then quickly goes right. So if you can do, if you can do stuff like this, then I would say you have a pretty good chance. And, and Tim still got a, he got there late, but he still was uh, almost there on the block. 
but um yeah if you can go left right quickly that's probably your best bet um and another thing another thing you can do to score on tim i think he's um he's about average height he's like five nine probably five eight um you know average wingspan no crazy vertical or anything like that he's just fundamentally sound i think so if you do have a good size here's i think this is uh someone named nate he also played in the driveway league he's a very big guy but he also has great um footwork in the post he's a great post player if you're a really good post player i think that's a way to beat tim just because of his size just natural limitations um he's gonna play good defense so if you just try to bully ball him that won't work but if you got good um moves and you can um get to the paint and finish high i think that's a way to beat him uh nate here gives him a little little nudge and finishes very high and tim is just too short as you can see tim tim's just too short to um get a great contest on the shot so see right here tim um he goes up he's there he's solid defense um he's right there but he's just too short i think and vertically he just can't jump high enough to get a good contest so i think that's a way to score on him as well so yeah, the Tim's a very fundamental player. He's very sound in both offense and defense. I think your best bet to beat him is to tire him out. Honestly, if you if you are out of shape and Tim's out of shape, like you're both out of shape about, and you don't think that uh, you're that great of a basketball player, then you're probably gonna get cooked because that's definitely a tough matchup. He is very very good. I think um even when he says he's washed up i don't think so i think if he got back in back in shape he would be really really good um even better than he already is so hopefully he sees this video tim uh i want to challenge you you know 1v1 uh i want to test my skills and uh we'll play on 10 feet we won't, we won't play on driveway league height and uh i think the only chance i have is um is just stamina that's the that's the only chance i think i have otherwise i'm i'd probably lose if we played to like 11 i probably would lose like 11 to 4 something like that but um yeah uh it's just a little something random i want to check i uh, want to try out i uh, hope you guys like the video if you did please leave a like i'm gonna start doing videos like these they're pretty they're gonna be random i think random times not no set schedule i my uploads are whatever i upload randomly just when i feel like doing something different doing something new so yeah be on the lookout for other videos um let me know if you're interested in volleyball tips and tricks that's my that is something i think i'm really good at I coach volleyball so yeah thanks uh, for watching and leave a like if you enjoyed and peace out